Hey guys, even here and 11 months before the Mr. Olympia, we got an update, we got a physique update of Flex Lois, which is something you see very rarely. Flex isn't really known for posting a lot of physique updates coming into the shows, but uh, I stumbled upon this video of himself getting a massage and you can see his physique for a little bit right there. So I wanted to give you my thoughts on it and considering that this is 11 months out, it really doesn't matter that much what he looks like right now. Like, he could be off, he could be doing TRT, he could do whatever. I mean, there is 11 months to go, so... Uh, considering this is 11 months out, he looks really good. And that's as much as I can say. He looks really good. Does he look super crazy impressive? I would not say that, no. Before, when he was doing the 212. I mean, he never officially did the Open, but he's prepping for the Open Olympia. Before, when he was doing the 212, when his weight limit was 212 pounds, this is what he looked like. So, he didn't post a lot of off-season photos, but this is one of them. And here, he looked like he can win the Mr. Olympia in the Open, basically. Like, this was super freaking impressive. I mean, knowing that he is quite short, I am doubtful that he could, like, beat Big Grammy and some of the other guys that are taller. Taller than him, not tall, but taller than him. But standing here on his own like this, in this pose, most muscular, under this lighting, probably having an insane chest pump. Uh, he looks like he can win the Mr. Olympia in the open, yeah. And this photo and a couple of similar photos of Flex in the off-season are basically the reason why everybody, I mean, not really everybody, but a lot of people feel like he can do really, really well in the open. When he gets ready for the stage, when he needs to make that weight, 212, 212 pounds, he doesn't look as big as he looks in the off-season. Based on the previous photo from the off-season, you would guess that he would look much bigger on stage. He does look big, don't get me wrong, he does look very impressive, but I would assume he would look something like Phil Heath or something like that, you know, much bigger than this. But, you know, when you have to suffer that much, you need to exhaust your body and really kill yourself to make the weight, you usually don't end up looking uh, your best. But, if there was no weight cap, and there isn't gonna be one when he competes next at the Mr. Olympia in the open, <laughs> that can be that can be some serious package. And I believe Flex, if he really comes 100% on, and if he actually brings the size back, I would say back, because in this update, I don't really think he looks very massive right now. He looks good. I would say he looks really good. But does he look, you know, what the hell is this? What the hell am I looking at? No, no, it's not like that. It's not like Nick Walker right now at 290 or whatever. But again, this is 11 months out and he's not like in his rebound phase like Nick. He probably took, a, I mean, he definitely took a lot of time off. He probably wasn't using gear. He was probably, you know, pr probably doing like TRT or something like that, you know, maintaining as much as possible. And I'm pretty sure he's not gonna start pushing things to the envelope uh, anytime soon. Maybe in a couple of months, but, you know, he is basically, I mean, yeah, he can always be bigger, for sure, that's the open, but for his height, he pretty much filled up his frame. When he's on, when he's full-blown, he's really big, he has a lot of muscle on that skeleton. It's not a big frame, but I think he pretty much maxed out. When you look at his off-season photos when he's full-blown, he doesn't look like he needs to add a whole lot more mass, right? Just come into the show fresh, carved up properly, without trying to dehydrate and make the weight and stuff like that, that is very stressful on your body, that makes you look washed up. So if he's, you know, relaxed coming into the show, like being relaxed and not stressing about the weight, that can be a much different game, right? So once again, he needs to add uh, the size that he lost back, but that will happen, no doubt, very, very easily, I'm sure. So here is him right now. What do you guys think about his current physique update? Obviously, he's not as big as he was when he was full-blown during the off-season, but for 11 months out, what do you think? Is it good enough? While Flex is taking it a little bit easier, which he can do, because he pretty much, as I said, maxed out, Regan Grimes is not resting, not taking it easy at all, as he shouldn't. Now, he's coached by... Milos Archer, as we know, and uh, Milos is gonna push Regan to his absolute limits, I have no doubts. As far as food, and as far as training, and no, not as far as gear. But if you talk about insulin, he is big on that, and I'm pretty sure Regan is 
one of his clients that can actually utilize that uh, properly. You know, he doesn't give that. He doesn't give insulin to everybody. Uh, not a lot of people. Not everybody is responding that well to it. But I believe Regan is one of those guys. You know, he was kind of a skinny kid before he started prepping, so he has fast metabolism. And usually, people with fast metabolism respond well to insulin and high amounts of sugar. So I believe it's gonna work well in Regan's favor. And he just might unlock his uh, maximum potential this year. Here you can take a look at his back right now. Man, is it growing? I don't know, I can, can't really say right now, because the back is that muscle that looks impressive when it is shredded. And we all know that Regan has massive back, and that's not the issue. I mean, he doesn't need to change that too much. He needs to come, you know, more conditioned, fuller. He needs to have bigger legs, bigger arms, better bicep peaks. But from behind, his hamstrings, glutes, calves even, the back itself, shoulders and chest, he has all those. And he has good triceps, he has big arms, I'm not saying that he doesn't, but in the front double bicep, his bicep peaks could be higher. His stomach looks great as well, and I hope it will stay that good, because, you know, when you're pushing food that much and everything, uh, usually people, when they grow, they grow everywhere, the stomach grows as well. So I hope Regan is not gonna end up having a bubble gut. He's known for his aesthetics, that's why he did classic. Of course, he wasn't that good for classic, but he's a classic guy in the open. And I hope he's simply gonna grow everywhere and his waist is gonna stay the same. He's just gonna get bigger, fuller, harder, more conditioned, more matured. And I think that's exactly what's gonna happen. And a lot of people actually have Regan in like top three, top four at the Arnold, which would be a huge leap for him. But we'll see, there is uh, 8 weeks to go, this is him right now at 8 weeks out, so soon we will find out if that's gonna be Regan at his full potential. James Collingshead, so he sort of failed at the Mr. Olympia, a lot of people had him like placing in top 6 or so, but he, he failed miserably, and that's because he just messed things up in the couple of weeks prior to the show. And this guy is one of the biggest guys in bodybuilding right now. It's insane how big he is. Now, he's actually known for having a little bit worse back. But if you take a look at this back, you can see that those lats are just hanging there. Like It's ridiculous how much mass, how much muscle he has in that back. It's crazy that that back isn't one of the best backs in the world right now. On the stage, it doesn't look very good. It does in the back lat spread, but in the back double, I don't know, something happens. And, uh, I don't know, his skin gets folded a little bit too much. It looks like he has thick skin, if that's even a thing. I don't know, but in a back double, his his back doesn't look... Never looks very, very sharp. But you can definitely see, look at the, 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 the lats. I mean, it's just <laughs> muscle hanging there. Another weakness of his, what he's known for, are his arms, especially his biceps. And you take a look at his biceps, would you ever say that they are his weak point? Well, maybe they are not anymore, maybe he fixed them in the off-season, but... You, I mean, his biceps were always very good. It just, everything else was that massive that it would just overshadow his arms, especially his biceps. So, here you can see that he's definitely growing. I think he, he grew his arms. I think that was the focus. One of the things that he focused most on, I think it was arms and back. But pretty much everything else grew. And this guy is also one of the strongest, if not the strongest, bodybuilder in the open ranks today, one of the for sure, so here is him right now, uh, he's gonna be doing, I think he's gonna be doing one of the shows later in the year, and I think he can qualify for the Mr. Olympia, and if everything goes well this time around, if he doesn't mess it up uh, in the end, at the finish, he can do really well at the Mr. Olympia, I still have hope, I still uh, have huge expectations of this guy, I think he has the potential to be top 6 or top 3 at the Mr. Olympia eventually, if everything goes well, if he gains that maturity, he brings the, the conditioning and he comes big and full and everything, he's just that freaky, right? And for the end we have William Bonek, who just posted this photo, uh, the first photo is his legs 2 weeks out of Arnold Classic 2021, which, uh, remember, it wasn't last year in March, it was it was actually a couple of months ago, really. So here, this is him on the right, uh, currently 8 weeks out of Arnold Classic 2022, and it seems like his legs uh, grew quite a bit. Now, is this uh, comparison here uh, proper? I mean, did he zoom in a little bit more, the right photo? I think so, but 
Still, you can see, especially like the hamstrings and also the quads, he has more fullness now. So as he says, he had an injury in 2019. 2019 Arnold Classic was, in my opinion, his best ever. His legs were one of his best body parts. He had so much fullness in that area. They looked like they looked really round. They were forming a freaking circle, and everything else was also very full and big. But then at the Mr. Olympia 2019, it was a different story, quite obviously. He didn't complain though, he didn't really talk much about it. But the word was out that he injured one of his legs, and uh, that's basically the main reason he wasn't able to bring those legs up to their max fullness. Though he did place, you know, well at the Mr. Olympia 2019, he was second, but he could have won that show, in my opinion, if he actually looked like he looked a couple of months before that at the Arnold. In 2020 and 2021 at the Mr. Olympia, he got down all the way to 6th spot. For being a runner-up, potentially almost winning the Mr. Olympia, he fell out of the finals. He got all the way down to 6th spot. And is, is the leg fullness the, the only reason? Well, I wouldn't say it's the only reason. It looks like he lost the fullness and the size everywhere else. It looks like he's getting older. You know, This, this is what the physiques usually tend to look like. Um, as bodybuilders age, you know, their limbs start to uh, atrophy slowly, but and the waist gets bigger, which is, I think, the case with Bonek. But again, looking at this photo, it seems like the injury was definitely preventing him from uh, growing his legs or bringing them as full as possible. So, is Arnold Classic gonna be a completely different story? We're gonna find out in eight weeks. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and for more bodybuilding stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.